Reporting for the 6 o'clock news, this is Caitlin Kite. We're on the street in Williamsburg to find out what the citizens think about genetic counseling and gene therapy. Have you heard of genetic counseling? Can you tell me what it is? Yes. Genetic counseling, in my view, is the self-direction of human evolution. It's the process by which we systematically eliminate uh, deleterious genes from the human genome. Have you heard of genetic counseling, and can you describe what it is? It's where man plays God and tries to control things that he really has no business controlling. Have you heard of genetic counseling, and can you describe what it is? Have I heard of it? The government has been trying to control reproduction for years. This is just the latest attempt in a string of covert health initiatives that are really designed to control the population. Have you heard of genetic counseling, and do you know what it is? Wait, don't tell me. Now, is that something that you can do to get a shorter jail sentence? Um, no. Genetic counselors screen people for genetic disorders and offer advice on what to do about it. Oh, well, yeah. That was going to be my second guess, but you didn't really let me get to it now, did you? As there seems to be so much confusion on these issues, we've sought out an expert to provide some clarity on the situation. Good morning, Doctor. Would you mind introducing yourself to our viewers at home? Oh, good morning, Kaylin. Uh, yeah, my name is Dr. Rosengarth, and I'm a molecular genetics specialist at Liger. Doctor, we have come to you today to discuss genetic counseling and gene therapy. We're conducting a poll to assess the public's education and feelings on these matters. Would you like to help us with this? Sounds like a great idea, Caitlin. I would love to offer my assistance. The public should know more about these things. Can you please describe genetic counseling in terms of what it is and who should receive it? Great question, Caitlin. Very insightful. Genetic counseling is a process by which patients or parents that are at risk of developing a genetic disorder or passing it along are advised on what the probability is that they will develop it or that they'll pass it on to their children and what can be done to mitigate its effects or prevent it. And I really think it's important that everyone knows about genetic counseling and what it can do to help them and improve their lives. Have you heard of genetic counseling? Can you tell me what it is? Well, yes, me and my husband saw a genetic counselor before we had our first child. So you were probably worried that your child was at risk for serious disease? Well, yes, both me and my husband are Jewish, so we were worried about Tay-Sachs, which is a severe genetic disorder common in Eastern European Jewish community. Um, but we were lucky because although my husband is a carrier, I am not. If you received prenatal genetic counseling and were informed that your child was at risk for a serious disease that would alter the quality of life, what would you do? We pray for forgiveness of our sins and the strength to carry out God's plan. So, if you went to the doctor to receive prenatal um, genetic counseling, or told that you had a child that was at risk for a serious disease, what would you do? Now, wait a minute, my dear. I will not have you insinuate that my wife, Mabel, is a carrier of bad genes, as you put it. I assure you, and I am unanimous in this, that she and myself, of course, are both pure and healthy. So this was just a hypothetical question. I didn't mean to apply anything about your health or purity, just if you had a child in that situation. Well, <laughs> hypothetically speaking, of course, uh, we would use certain tools to remove the impurities from the genome. If you received genetic counseling and were informed that your child was at high risk for a serious ailment that could affect the rest of its life, what would you do? Of course I would want to help my babies. I may have been a little confused about this whole genetic counseling thing, but I'm a good mom. I'm not bringing any babies into this world that I can't take care of, right? I mean, it's hard enough for kids these days without some sort of awful... Hey! Hey, don't you be judging me! My body, my business! Sorry about that, honey. Can y'all maybe edit that out or something? Because I don't want to look like I'm a classy lady on TV. Um, yeah. If you received prenatal genetic counseling and were informed that your child was at high risk for a serious condition that would permanently alter his life, what would you do? Who told you that I have a child? I don't have a child. He doesn't exist, at least not so far as you're concerned. Sir, hypothetically speaking, if you had a child that was at high risk for a genetic illness, what would you do? Well, hypothetically speaking, if I had a child, there are people I could go to. People they don't know about. People off the radar. If you sought out prenatal genetic counseling and found out that your child was at risk of a serious inherited disease that would affect the future of its life, what would you do? Really insightful. I think that actually find out your child might be at risk of a particular inherited disease. You just need to find out what those treatments are. 
And after that, no amount of genetic counseling can tell you what to do. It's completely up to the parents. Now me, since I'm never having children, ever, sorry ladies. So if you had both been carriers, would you have wanted to explore alleviating the child's condition through something like gene therapy? I don't know so much about gene therapy, but I'm sure we would have been willing to look more closely at it. And if you had the option of alleviating that sickness with some sort of gene therapy, what would you do? Well, God has a plan, and if he chooses my child to suffer, who might have questioned that? All we can really do is pray for the strength and compassion to raise that child in a living home. If you had the option of alleviating this child's condition through a form of gene therapy, would you explore that option? So that my child could be part of some big government experiment? No, thank you. We'll stick with regular old-fashioned medicine, the kind that can't be traced. In the future, if you had the option of alleviating that child's condition through a form of gene therapy, what would you do? Of course I would take my babies to some fancy gene doctor. Now, our budget's pretty tight at home, and we might have to cut back a little on the household expenses, like maybe, I don't know, maybe we could start stealing our cleaning supplies from a gas station. That's a good tip, actually. The viewers at home should really check that out. So that brings me to my next question. If you could alleviate your child's condition through some sort of gene therapy, would you explore that option? Most certainly. Uh, gene therapy provides individuals the ability to remove imperfections of life, not just serious illnesses. Targeted gene therapy, in my view, creates a, creates a genetic purity in a sense. Of course, there are those individuals whose genetic composition is far too corroded to be corrected, even with today's technologies. These individuals, in my view, will have to be dealt with. Could you please describe the concept of gene therapy? Certainly. Gene therapy is when genes or genetic material are inserted into cells or tissues in a living human body. This is done to treat hereditary disorders, or it can also be used to treat non-hereditary hereditary diseases.